You know daily wage worker? They are not employed, full time employed, right? They come to the come to the work site morning. There is a construction work going on. They come. Good morning, sir. They will say, "Yes, do I have work today? Yes, you do this. That day salary is given. Okay. When going, he doesn't know there is next day work or not. Understand? So we are like daily wage workers for God." <laughs> <laughs> Every day morning we get up. Okay, thank God, I have given one day. Please be, a, please understand that there is no promise of tomorrow. There is nothing called tomorrow. Tomorrow, if you get it, it's grace. Okay. We don't know when our breath will go out and will not come back. Also, there is no guarantee, warranty, nothing is there. Have you got a warranty certificate or something? Like huh? So, what your God is today? the god has given you today's job work okay so don't worry about tomorrow tomorrow's work what you have to give is god's responsibility okay like the daily wage worker what work he will do tomorrow he doesn't know tomorrow when he goes there you know provided that tomorrow there is work tomorrow if you are alive there is some work will come tomorrow don't worry about that today what work you have to do planning also you do for tomorrow that doesn't matter but you have to do something today that's the key okay and do you know only six important things we can do per day not not one more not less <laughs> this is a worldwide study we can always do only six things in a day our mind can handle six important things in a day okay so that six important thing once you get up in the morning you write down six important things what i have to do today and don't do one extra don't want one less that six important things do it well okay right so now you have got today okay you have only today don't even think that there is tomorrow tomorrow if it comes let it come so for just for today you start the sentence just for today <laughs> write down 1 2 3 4 5 6 things you will do today okay Think of tomorrow also. I mean, what is the plan for tomorrow also? For tomorrow, something has to be done, but it has to be done today. Just for today, these are the six things I will do. Write it down clearly. Let's see. You understand what I am saying? And only for plan for today. Just for today, these are the six things. Okay. First thing is first you write down what I am saying. Okay. Right. I mean, I am just tell, telling for the sake of clarity. Otherwise, you don't have to say the same words. Okay? Thank God, you have given me one more day of life. Twenty-four <laughs> hours you have given to me. I will use for these six purposes. One, two, three, four, five, six. You also don't know. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So now, close your eyes and think over what is the six important things you want to do in life today. Six important. Only six. Not more or not less. And write down each of them in the priority. Then you give priority. First you write down. Then you say this number. This is first. This is the first. Then allocate the time for that. Let's see. important things you want to do today see please understand these six important things should be such that tomorrow if you don't wake up also 
it's okay <laughs> today is the only day which god has given to you okay tomorrow if you don't get up you should we should not have regrets <laughs> Right now, right now. Let's see. You said only six. Man. Yeah, only six. Not more than six. Okay. Now, in that, you order in the priority. Priority number one, two, three, four, five, six. You, what is most important, and allocate time. So that's daily routine. I like, can't change the times. No, no. What I'm saying is six important things you want to do in life. Other than the daily routine, yes. No, no. Daily routine is also important. Daily routine, who will do? You only have to do. <laughs> Thought will not come and do. <laughs> So, Shivani done? Almost. Almost. Have you assigned the priority? Okay. Have you allocated time? Hmm? Suppose you are not alive tomorrow. What will you do? Then all these things come into picture. Bank accounts. Make sure they know passwords. Yeah, write down, write down, write down, write down. If that comes into picture, write down. That's also important. That's writing a will, right? Mm -hmm. I have written my will. Then I forget it. Over. Okay. Once you write the will, allocate what to the children. Okay. Over. So that is no more pending item. Right? It is also important. Mm -hmm. What is? I also wrote. When you told Lata, I also wrote. Ah, writing a will is important. Okay, write it in over. You don't. I mean, tomorrow if you are alive, you can do something better. Actually, see, these are all bugging items. You get it over. What happened to my bank account? What happened to my password? So how my children should use that? All these things should write down, and I have done it. Then it should not come to your next mind, next again. <laughs> like that. <laughs> right now. <laughs> the only difference is you have something to write in your will in my will. Nothing belongs to me, so I didn't know what to write. Nothing belongs to you. Your house doesn't belong to you? No, that's all under his name. So. Ah, then you have to have a joint will. After he dies, you will take over. After you die, children will take over. That complete succession plan has to be there, clearly. You think people don't die? They just blip. They disappear. <laughs> Not so lucky. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one, Smita? No, bamboo. It's bamboo. Plastic. Plastic. Okay. This is Ashwinta. Agatha. Agatha? That's all you don't think about them, sir. Where does Jasper come from? Are they actually another leak? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Are they?